Today's video is sponsored by Black Gold Compost Company. I want to thank the good people over at Black Gold for the generous donate, donation of all this beautiful black cow cow manure that uh, we use in our video today. And uh, it's made a tremendous success in our garden. I've been using black cow for uh, many years, ever since 1980, and it's always made a tremendous difference in my garden. And I've been very pleased with our product. I highly recommend it. Thank you, Black Gold, for sponsoring our channel. Well, good morning, friends. Today's video is gonna be on how to harvest container-grown potatoes and how to cure them for long-term storage. We'll be right back after the break. Well, welcome back, friends. I've had a lot of questions on how do you cure your potatoes for long-term storage, and really it's a very simple process. So today I thought what we would do is just start us a couple of 20 tub, 20 gallon tub uh, containers of Yukon Gold. I got my little sign up here. I planted them today on March the 18th. They should be ready to harvest right around the end of July. So we'll be, um, uh, coming back to you as soon as these are ready to harvest and we'll harvest them together because everybody just seems to love the, uh, the, the uh, process of harvesting them, dumping them out and picking them out. It's like looking for Easter eggs. <laughs> but we'll watch that uh, part of the process on uh, harvesting the taters and then we'll, we'll go over to the pantry and um, we'll get them in set for curing and get them set up for long-term storage. So we'll be back, you know, at the end of July and uh, we'll get these out of the tubs and we'll get them cured for long-term storage. See you in a few months. Well, our two tubs of Yukon Golds are definitely in late stage five. So I would say today's a good day to pick these out. Um, we got two more weeks of rain predicted starting in the morning and I mean, it's, straight through right off the whole 10 10 day forecast nothing but rain so we want to go ahead and get these harvested out and um we want to show you how to uh, cure these and get them up for long-term storage that was the whole reason of this video so i thought we would uh, just get these things out of the uh, tubs and um, get them over there and get them drying out before we go over to the four-week pantry so let's get these things onto the um the mat here and see if we can't uh get these things out of the tubs okay first thing i'm going to do is um, i'm going to get these long stems off of here get them out of my way and i like to leave a a, a long stem on so i can help me uh shake them later as i'm harvesting so there we go. We got those off. Let's pull a tub off. Okay, well, I think we're ready to dump them out and see what we get. Got it okay? Yep. Let's see what we got. Uh -huh. Wow. That about it? Yep, I think that's about it. Not exactly the best harvest I've ever had. <laughs> really not to show off the best harvest we can possibly do we're just trying to help you learn how to do this process mm -hmm. anyway that's about it I mean it ain't much to look at but it'll help us get the point across so let's go go over to the uh, harvest area and I'll show you the next step right. here's our little and I mean little harvest <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm setting these potatoes out here on this harvest uh, this uh, wash table so they can get plenty of air now i didn't brush off any of the dirt i just left the dirt right on there just as it came out of the ground and i'm going to let this dry out here in the air all day today 
And then this afternoon I'll come back and I will lightly rinse off some of this dirt and then I'll let it dry out again. And then we'll take it over and put it into four week pantry inside of our tater tower. So we'll be back this afternoon. Okay, our um, potatoes have been sitting out here on the wash table for about five hours now. Um, I wanted to point out that this has been in the shade almost all day, except for just, just in the last uh, 30 minutes, the sun started to get into a point where it can come through the trees here. But wherever you put your potatoes out to dry off like this, make sure you got them in the shade. Now, there's two ways to do this, and the preferred way is not to use any water at all. However, if you've got some potatoes that are really muddy and really wet and just really gnarly looking when you got them out of the ground, um, it ain't gonna hurt nothing to spray them lightly with a light coat of water and kind of rinse them off a little bit and then let them sit out here and dry. Mine were not um, that bad, so I didn't really rinse them off. And what I'm gonna do now is, as you can see, they have dried. And all I do is I take a soft, dry rag and I come up to the potato and I just brush it off real easy. And that potato now is pretty clean and it's pretty ready for dry, dry stores. Let me show you one of those up close. I just simply take a potato. As you can see, it's a little dirty. I take my rag and I just wipe it on the rag. And I'm not wiping very hard. I'm just doing that very lightly. I'm lightly brushing it. Because remember, these skins are pretty soft. See what I just did? I accidentally pulled that one a little too hard and peeled it. But anyway, you want to just clean it up just a little bit. Let me show you another one. Here's a before. And you don't have to get these things perfectly clean. You're just wanting to get the loose, most of the loose stuff off of them. So when you put them into your uh, storage cabinet and everything, you just don't get it all real filthy dirty. See, that's good enough. Because when you get ready to eat that potato, you're going to wash it off anyway. And most likely you're going to peel it. Okay, but see, that's, that's pretty dry and pretty clean. Okay, let me get the rest of these brushed off and then we'll head over to the four week pantry and we'll put these in our um, tater tower so we can store them for long term. Well, here we are over at the four week pantry and this is my tater tower. And I'm sure you remember uh, seeing this on our video on our uh, four week pantry that we built we built this and if you want to build something like this these uh the the construction sketches on how to build this are on that video uh go check that out four week pantry but um what it is is it's a simple roll out drawers and um, there's plenty of ventilation in here in between the drawers and uh, that's that's important I've got no direct light in this room. I've got this window right here, but there's no direct light coming through there and it's inside inside the tower. So no light really hits the potatoes because you don't want that because if you do, they're just gonna turn green on you. So anyway, I take the potatoes. Here's all the potatoes we just got through brushing off. And all I do is put them right in my tower and I spread them out so they're really not touching each other. And I've already got some more Yukon goals in there that I'm uh, allowing to chit. So um, they're doing pretty well in here. So all the potatoes inside this first drawer right here are Yukon golds. And what I'm gonna do with these, uh, since I have so such a f small amount of them, is I'm just saving these for next year and let them chit. And, um, for next spring and then uh, we'll use them for seed potatoes. So come on up here and take a look at it up inside. Okay, here's all my potatoes in the drawer. As you can see, I've separated them out where they're really not touching each other. I've got some paper towels on the bottom just in case I uh, come back in here and check on these in a week or two. I'll look for any wet spots in here for some potatoes that just ain't gonna make it. If I see any that's wet and they're starting to rot, I get them out of there so it doesn't ruin the rest of them but all these over here these have been in here 
for a while they're starting to chit already and these are brand new we just put these in here today so they're set and uh, we'll be looking forward to using these for seed potatoes next spring there they all are tucked away into the tater tower so um, these potatoes right now will last in this tater tower in here. This is a cool environment. It's air conditioned inside my uh, pantry. Uh, we keep the lights off in here all the time. The only light is coming through this window and it doesn't go directly into the tater tower. So it's cool. So the, the air is cool, the, the space is ventilated and uh, it's dark. So that's what we wanna do to maintain our potatoes for long-term storage. These potatoes will last three, four months in here and they're completely edible. You can come back and just get them out and take them in, wash them off and peel them, eat them and make you some good old mashed potatoes. So anyway, I hope this helps you on what to do with your potatoes after you harvest them. These Yukon Gold potatoes will be here next spring waiting on me if we don't eat them before then. <laughs> so anyway, I thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you. We wanna thank the Lord for everything he gives us, especially seed potatoes. So until me and Nancy see you next time, always remember, by his hands we are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen.